Okay, so in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up upsells for your Shopify store. First off, for those that don't know what upselling is, let's quickly clarify that. So basically, upselling is a sales technique where a seller invites the customer to purchase more expensive items, upgrades, or other add-ons to generate more revenue. And that's the key here, to generate more revenue. Okay. So in order to upsell on Shopify, to, to do this the best way, you're gonna need an app um, to offer the upsell ability on your store. It, Shopify itself doesn't come with any options to upsell out of the box, so using an app is the best way uh, to achieve this on your store. The app we're gonna to use today is SellUp. So if we go over to the app store here, so SellUp is a upsell app that enables you to create these visual upsells on your Shopify store, it's going to enable you to upsell basically. Uh, you'll be able to increase your revenue, get the benefits of upselling on your store. It's super easy to do. Uh, it's pretty quick to set them up. Okay, so regarding pricing, sell-ups actually free for up to 500 monthly views. Uh, after that, you just pay whichever tier you fall into based on your views. But the best part about sell-up is you can see how well it's working in the admin of your store. So you'll know which upsells are, are literally generating you 10 times, 20, 30, 40 times ROI, uh, which upsells you've set up aren't sort of converting the best they could. And, and by tracking this, you're, you'll be able to optimize the upsells and find those sort of sweet products that most people will take and which ones people are leaving and not interested in. Okay, so once sellups added to your Shopify store, let's have a look at how we set up upsells. Okay, so sellup comes with two types of upsell that we're going to look at quickly now, and that's the on page in the action. There are some others which are cart upsells and post purchase, but most of your additional revenue is going to come from these two. So the on page offers is pretty much that it shows offers on the product page. So let's set one of these up quick. So we're going to call our upsell. Let's call this golf upsell. And we're gonna show this upsell on our golf balls. So the golf balls is the trigger product. This is the product page where the upsell will, will show. And then the, off, the product we're going to offer are the golf tees. So that means when anyone's on the golf ball page, they're gonna see an offer for this. So if we save that, and now if we navigate to the front end, we should see the upsell. And there it is. So here's our 12 pack of premium golf balls. This was the trigger product. And underneath the buy box here is the tees being offered. Now this is a great supplementary product to this lead product here. It's not a lawnmower, it's not a set of patio furniture, it's a set of golf tees which very much is in the same category as these golf balls and if you're going to be buying this there's a good chance you'll be interested in or possibly be buying this as well so having it there is great okay so leading on from on page offers the second offer we're going to look at today is the action offer so this is going to be the same offer but it's it's in a different format so rather than it sitting on the product page passively, we're gonna actively show this offer to our customer when they click the add to cart for the golf balls. So we'll call this golf ball action offer. And again, we're gonna select the trigger product as our golf balls because we want this offer to show on our golf balls product. And we want to offer the golf tees because that's the product that makes sense so the rest of that we're just going to leave that as it is now if we go back to our product page this is our original on page uh, upsell offer but the action offer is actually going to show once we've clicked the add to cart so if we click this you'll now see up comes the same product but this is in the action offer format 
And uh, this is, as I said, not passive, it's active. It's literally showing the customer the offer, sort of saying, hey, is that, would you fancy this as well to go with your product you just added? And these convert a lot better than the on-page do, but you've got to make sure that the product you're offering is a real contender for being a the perfect supplementary offer. So when you are showing these offers to your customer, you want to make sure that they're really the, the perfect offer that you could be showing for your store. And you'll know that the best because you're the, the merchant, you, it's your store catalogue. You should be able to see which products make sense the most and which products don't work together as upsells and offers. So that's an overview of the on-page and action offers from SellUp. Uh, as you can see, it was super easy to set those up and we've got some basic uh, stats here. You'll also be able to track the analytics for these in SellUp and you'll over a period of time, you'll be able to see which ones are bringing you a good return and which ones you need to improve upon. So the closing thoughts on upsells are you want to show products to your customers that they're most likely going to purchase based on the products that they're looking at. They should make sense. They should be in the same category or related. For example, if you've got a, a red t-shirt, you might be showing the matching red cap with it. Or if you have a coffee machine, you might be showing coffee filters. If you have a microphone, you might be showing a video camera. If you have a laptop, you would show a laptop case. The upsells should make sense to each other and not be miles apart. For example, if you're going to be selling a golf bag, if a tennis racket pops up as an upsell, you've got to hope that the person you're offering that to is also a keen tennis player and happens to be looking for a tennis racket at that point in time. It's not going to be likely, so the people that will take those offers up will be minimal. So yeah, if you like that video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Secondly, remember to check out the description down below for any additional information, links and goodies related to this video.